them. Yeah. <laughs> right here. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Broadcasting oh. myself for you. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Tassie, and today I have my girlfriend Linda on the show. Hi. Linda, as you guys know, I've mentioned her recently that she's coming on my show. She is my amazing girlfriend who gives me this chili oil that is super good. <laughs> We're actually not eating it today. Oh, we can if we want like to. But what are we going to eat it with? Some of the food? Uh, the beef jerky. Oh, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> well, we don't have any space. So, <laughs> I guess I'm laughing. Oh, I swear it's because we had that shot of Captain. <laughs> do you need another one? <laughs> okay, let's just do one more shot. Yeah. The problem with drinking, though, for me is that... Um, I'll bring it to you, don't worry. Oh, thank you. The problem with drinking for me is that I... It makes me not hungry. <laughs> oh, well, like, for me, I... When I drink, I, I'm so sorry. I should have poured yours first. Look, I'm being rude. I'm sorry. I don't, need, but, I don't uh, care. <laughs> um, <laughs> as long as it gets to me eventually. Yay. No, because like, it numbs my stomach so that I don't get hungry. Because you know, like, you don't get hungry until you start sobering up a little bit. And then all of a sudden, you're like super hungry. You want to eat everything oh. like White Castle. Should we wait till we sober up then? <laughs> All right, just so you guys know, it is 1.49 in the afternoon on a Saturday. Because of Linda, she's making me drink. I'm not. I, uh, you are the one that poured the shots. Cheers. <laughs> All right, now I'm kind of buzzed. So we're going to explain the platter, what we have before us. Over here, we have pork belly. Um, and we have mung sausages. We have pork loaf, which is like a Vietnamese type of dish. Normally in their banh mi sandwiches, they have this meat in there. We have purple sticky rice and we have Lao beef jerky, Lao style beef jerky. And then we have papaya salad. And we have yummy cucumbers, some pork nam sausage. Green mangoes, baby green mangoes, and some spicy pork rinds. Isn't it funny? Like, I got, like, all this meat over here and rice. So you got, like, all these veggies that... <laughs> People don't ever see me eat veggies on the show. <laughs> don't worry. We're, we're, I'm going to share these with you and, you. and I want some of that pork belly, too, so... <laughs> all right, and then all of this we did not make. I mean, like, we, like, prepped it and cut it up, but we didn't make any of it. Uh, Linda, she graciously went to the Hmong Village Flea Market in St. Paul and she got um, all of the, most of this stuff. I got cucumbers. Non you know what? We're not even going to talk about what I contributed. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, uh, what we have here, though, are these three different spices, uh, pepper, that Linda actually got. So over here, this is actually pon pons. Addiction sauces. Yeah. <laughs> so what... What is pon pons? I've never heard of them. She's a Cambodian woman and she makes these sauces, hot sauces, and people started requesting her to make it. She started selling it online. I've been following her for a while on Instagram. She's got funny names for her sauces though. So the I one right here, some, yeah. the one right here is called Bitch Slap. Excuse my French. And then this dark one here is called Dat Dank Dip, which is a kapik. Ka ka yeah. Kapik. It's basically that shrimp paste kind of sauce, which I'm actually kind of scared to try. And I've got Seduce Me right over here. So I'm really excited to try out these peppers. Uh, would you know if one's spicier than the other? Or are they kind of like the same levels? I think this one, this Seduce Me, might be a little bit less spicy. Okay. She described it as spicy on the website. The other ones she pretty much described as extremely spicy. Except for punk ass. That one is mild. Okay. All right. And we so don't have that one here. Let's so. go ahead and get started. Yay. So let's try this pork belly. I'm going to try it. I want to try it with that sauce. Oh my God. These are like huge. Huge. I, that's how I cut it. I'm going to start with the cucumber. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> I, I grabbed me some pork belly too. Okay, is it okay if I dip my meat in there? Yeah, oh look, you made yours all small. It's about to just like... <laughs> Go ahead! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this, <sighs> is, this is the bitch slap. So I'm guessing this is going to be kind of spicy. Maybe I should make mine smaller <laughs> too. Okay, it's 
It's like half the size now. It's really garlicky. I probably should have waited for Linda. <laughs> this is what happened when you get buzz sassy. Bitch slap. Let me try that again. <laughs> Bitch slap. Your slices. Mmm. Mmm. It's kind of like limey, but it's really garlicky. Garlicky. It is spicy, um, but it's definitely like really tolerable kind of spice. Like I don't think it's like super crazy kind of spice. Yeah, it's. Uh, I feel like that's it's what good, I would though. call mild. Yeah, that's what, that's what I would call mild. That's, and I'm super excited to have Linda here because Linda is one of my <laughs> rarest girlfriends who can eat spicy like me. So I would say that was a mild. Okay, okay. I am super scared. <laughs> Of that dank sauce or that mm -hmm. dank dip. All right, let's Why? both try it at the same time. Because I'm not a huge fan of that fish pasty kind of a taste. All right. I guess I'll find out. Put it in what? your mouth. Huh? I thought we are trying it together. We are. Okay. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm. <sighs> oh, I think my yaw would really like this one. You don't too fishy, too shrimpy, <laughs> too too spicy. It tastes like the whole bottle is in there. <laughs> that is um. I feel like that would be good to like mix with mangoes or something. Shredded mangoes. Not really good as a dip, maybe. That is, like, straight. <laughs> um, okay, I will say that I know a lot of people who do like this. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to like it. This is what we're doing. We're just trying. This is our first time trying these sauces. Did you like it, though? Like, as, as somebody who generally might like it? I liked it. I did feel like it's a bit strong. I feel like I've tasted similar things that were maybe a little bit more soupy that we ate with vermicelli noodles or something. It is good, but I feel like it might not work for me as a dipping sauce. I feel like it might be something that I would add to like with a other stir fry stuff. or something. But oh, you know, it tastes like papaya salad. I would not do like... a stir fry with that. <laughs> like I said, vermicelli Before? noodles. Yeah, vermicelli okay. noodles. What is this one again? Seduce me. All right, let's try seduce me. This one looks like, I want like, my, some like my regular pepper. pepper. I want some actual bit of that pepper. La, 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 la. Yeah, I will do the same. It tastes like regular pepper to me. <laughs> it does taste like it. <laughs> That's regular pepper. <laughs> Is this one your favorite then? <laughs> I feel like we should switch this out with something else. Maybe the dry one. Yeah. Okay, Let's we'll, we'll be up. right back. <laughs> oh, this one was terrible. <laughs> Linda, this is what happened. Wait, you start testing. I'm drinking. She's like, let's do another shot. Let's do another shot. <laughs> I am that Asian girl. We could do another shot. All right, you guys. So we ended up switching out the, that dank sauce <laughs> with a bullet. It's actually a dry kind of pepper paste. So this is what it looks like. And I think it will go really good with the mangoes. And that's why we're going to switch it out. Let's do another shot now. <laughs> So you're going to chill here All until right. you sober up, okay? Of course. So it's been 13.44. We've had two shots in less than that. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm so, I'm so glossy. <laughs> Look at me compared to you. I'm so shiny. <laughs> well, because you have, um, you, right here, you have that uh, wet one. Oh, Mine, mine's a powder. Okay, mine's okay. a powder, that's why. Okay. You know what's funny though on camera? Mm hmm. So, like, I've noticed this whenever I film with people. I'm really pasty looking compared to other people. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what? like, in real life, I'm like a natural tone. Mm hmm. But, like, on camera, I look super pasty. 
<laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm like, I, I look like a natural, like, my color would be natural, like, for a foundation. Mm-hmm. I agree. I, why do I look so pasty, though? Like, I don't know. I think it's the lights. I think it's just, like, absorbing my inner light and, like... <laughs> Okay, so let's try the mango. This. So I'm gonna grab my finger here, and then I'm gonna dip it into this sauce. Okay, let's get a lot a chunk of, it. of baby mango. I'm just gonna bathe it in the pepper there. Mm. Oh my god! Okay, what? There we go. <laughs> mm. It's kind of smoky tasting. A little bit of smoke. I'm going to add a little salt to it. I was going to say <laughs> add some pepper to it. I don't think it's spicy. Yeah, it, I think it, there it has is a, a smoky kind of um, umami kind of a taste. Yes. But it's not spicy. It's not spicy. It's no. um, it's just kind of like a smoky paprika or something. Okay, okay, let's add it's some. It's like those pizza chili flakes, how they're not actually oh, spicy. Oh, yeah. They okay, have well, a pepper taste, but they're not, there's this. like no, it's too high. Because I'm wearing shorts, I have to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that my tolerance is too high. Yeah, so like, t okay, like to us, it's not spicy. Um, to other people, it might be. I am using my mango to stir. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. You know, salt in there and sugar actually tastes really good. Yeah. Do you got sugar? Oh, oh it's very salty now. Got me. <laughs> flavorful. <laughs> flavorful. <laughs> I'm going to eat this now. It's all covered up. Okay. Here comes a spoonful of sugar. I have to get another one. <laughs> what the hell? Did I just fall into my own chair? I think so. Is it better now? I just mixed it up at, now that you added the sugar, so. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's a little better. <laughs> so my nephew does whenever something's good. I don't know where he learned it from. He'll eat his chicken nuggets. This is much better now. <laughs> so you still get that smokiness, but now you get that other the flavor. Mung pepper. <laughs> but I am not better. very knowledgeable. This is yeah, much better this now. This is more like what we normally would eat. Mm -hmm. All right, I didn't finish this. Come here. Do you eat the tomatoes in papaya salad? Mm-hmm. More for you. <laughs> Feel free to just reach over, okay? So you don't do the tomatoes? No, I don't really like raw tomatoes unless they're cooked like ketchup. Or spaghetti sauce? Uh-huh. Have you tried Rao's? Well, I do eat tomato like on a burger. I've been learning to eat tomatoes like on a burger. I'm gonna try some of this Lao. You know, I was almost gonna ask... Oh God, it's... we're losing it. We're losing it. <laughs> I was almost gonna ask if he wanted us to move tongue. Like... Hit it up oh, and add cilantro. Yeah, and cilantro. Do you got cilantro on green? Yes. Yes. <laughs> we Ooh, can turn that hard. into a pepper. Is oh. it really that hard? I, this is my first time buying from that vendor. Mm. Okay, it's not bad. It's, it's, um. Is it sweet? I wouldn't say it's sweet. It's savory. It's savory. Uh. It's not bad. This is good. Mmm. Mmm. Pie salad is really good. It's funny, I was talking, um, I had a viewer because, you know like how people like to eat uh, vermicelli noodles with the pie salad? Mm-hmm. And I hate that. You hate that? Mm-hmm. I cannot eat vermicelli noodles with a pie salad. But I can eat sticky rice with a pie salad. <laughs> it's like the weirdest thing. I like the noodles because those noodles soak up so much flavor. I don't think I've tried sticky rice with it though. So much better. Because the noodles. I probably grab some. 
If you do it with the noodles, it tastes like you put noodles in this sauce. And that dank me sauce. <laughs> That's how come I don't like it with noodles because it tastes nothing like, like, it just tastes like a fish paste. Oh, I lost a piece. We lost it. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> This pork belly has a lot of fat. <laughs> Do you eat pork fat? Mm-hmm. For the longest time, I didn't, but my friend told me to have the East Side Pride at Tongue and Cheek. We call it a mouth orgasm. So ever since then, it really I've been good? eating it. It melts in your mouth. Don't call it a mouth orgasm when you order it. They don't call it that. It's an East Side Pride. <laughs> We call it a mouth orgasm. I like to order a mouth orgasm, please. <laughs> it comes on like a little like mung spoon, you know, like the... Oh, the grandma spoons? Yeah. Those uh, So they put spoons? it like on there so you can just like put it in... I think it comes on the spoon. It's been a while since I've been there, but it pretty much is just one little piece of delicious pork belly, crispy skin. It tastes a little bit of sesame oil, and I don't know what else to put on there. Hmm. But it tastes really good. My little sisters. Linda, what's your last name? Seriously? Are you a Yang? Yes! Okay. <laughs> I'm just asking. Just you don't asking. remember? <laughs> no, I'm actually really bad with uh, last names when it comes to It says it on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> so I kid you guys not. No, because I didn't grow up with monk people. Mm -hmm. So I never bothered to learn their last names because I just assumed they were a Yang, a Vang, a Lee. <laughs> I just assumed it. it. It's a bad habit of mine, but I don't, most of my friends, I probably don't know their last names. It's because I know their name on Facebook, but their photo helps me recognize who they are. <laughs> because people change their names on Facebook to something weird. So That's most true. of the times I don't know my friend's last names. So like most of the times I don't know my friend's last names. I just call them by their first names. So like I have this one friend mm -hmm. and like, for the longest time, I thought his last name was his first name. was part of his name. Because, you know, like, so, like, Hmong boys sometimes <laughs> will have two names. But it's, like, their first name. It's kind of like Mary Jo, right? But Joe apparently was his last name. <laughs> and I kept saying, Mary Jo, Mary Jo. <laughs> so imagine if somebody kept saying Linda Yang, Linda Yang, right? Because I just thought it was his full name, like, his first full name. But apparently that was his last name. <laughs> it does look good. The Hmong sausage is okay. Mm. Is this Laotian <laughs> or Thai? Or is it Hmong? Mm. It kind of tastes like a Hmong sausage, but it's really fatty. So I'm going to assume it's a Hmong sausage. <laughs> Actually, I think the Lao sausages are more fatty. Mm-mm. Because -mm. when, I, I, cause when I'm lazy, I tear these sucker up. I take off the skin and I just pan fry it because I'm like, I cannot wait for you to cook in the oven. Get in my belly. And usually the Lao ones are more fatty to me. So I've just been eating a lot of veggies. I mean a lot of meat. As if a Tazzy ate a lot of veggies. <laughs> what the hell? That don't happen. Mmm. The cucumber refreshing. is super refreshing. So is the mango. Mm-hmm. You've been eating the mango, right? Uh-huh. There's like something kind of strong in this bitch slap. Does she put ingredients on the bottles? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Extremely spicy, it's not. Well, um, I would say American standards, it's extremely yeah. spicy. It's nowhere close to like spicy noodles. Oh God, no. Or, or Buffalo Wild Wings, Hot mm -hmm. Wings. Okay, D's um, spot where they got their super de duper spicy wings. Okay, those I are more spicy. I can't hear you through the chewing. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Buffalo Wild Wings, Blazing Wings, is spicier than these sauces. Yes. These sauces, they're like uh, what we would call tamada, which is actually a Thai word, <laughs> which means it's okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. But it ain't good. <laughs> it's we, not we like... We can improve it. But you also have to remember, we are people who eat very, very spicy. So, to us, we were expecting, because the label says extremely spicy. So, we were, and we can see the pepper in this. So, we were expecting, like, to be wowed, you know? And it was like a mild. And, and I am pretty harsh when it comes to labeling of certain products. Like, if it says extreme spice or warning, I'm expecting to be wowed. And when I'm not, it's kind of like, mm, that was a letdown. It's just like when I go to like Amazing Thailand or something. Huh. Yeah. And I ask them what their top level of spice is that they're willing to provide. Oh, and no. I ask them to like double that or triple it. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I've done a seven before and I was sweating bullets. I was nope. like, I'm Asian. Just give it to me. <laughs> I was sweating bullets. No, I did it before. The woman was like, we can do it. No take backs. I was like, it's fine. So she brought it to me. It was super spicy. And I, of course, I did not send it back. I just ate it. I think it was perfect for me. It's yeah. like when I go to Vili Deli. Well, I've never been there. They're Hmong owned. And they have, I think, three levels of kick, Ooh. which is just dry pepper. Oh. So they say three. And I say, can you guys give me six kicks? And a lot of the workers are like, whoa. But... It's funny because when the Hmong owners are there, they're like, she can handle it. She knows what she's doing. So I get my six kicks. Linda might be crazier than me. <laughs> I don't know if I'm crazy. I think I just have a lot of friends who also eat spicy. And that encourages me to keep eating spicy. Well, that's true. I don't have a lot of friends that eat spicy. I really don't. You don't? It's kind of sad. Oh, Like, for me, growing up, like, eating those ramen packets, it used to be like, you know what? I can I can put the whole packet of pepper in there, and I can eat it. And it's like, really? Okay, well, oh I'm going to train myself to do like that, nothing. too. I know. It's nothing now, but, like, when we were, like, little kids, it was like, OMG. That was so spicy. So it was like, it took time to build up the tolerance. Did you know, mm -hmm. there's a theory on um, people who eat spicy foods, they like to have painful sex. <laughs> For anyone who cares, I'm not into that. So it's, don't Fifty Shades me. <laughs> I don't care how rich you are. Don't Fifty Shades me. <laughs> Just normal. Normal. I've never read or seen Fifty Shades. It's really cheesy. Mm -hmm. I wish they had picked a better guy. I didn't really... That guy. Hmm. Yeah. I totally agree. The actor is handsome. Don't get me wrong. He's very good looking, but he's a pretty boy. Mm-hmm. He wasn't like a, rip my clothes off, you're freaking hot. Guy, guy. <laughs> he was just okay. He was just like any pretty boy you see down the street. I didn't think he was like that amazing. Mm -hmm. Like I've seen pretty boys with bored. And like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he was like as amazing as the book depicted him to be. But again, I'd never read it. I just heard it from other people. You could at least read the summary on Wikipedia. <sighs> That's what I did for the other two I got books. the gist off of what other people told me about the book. Oh, dang. I read a piece this all fat. Yep, the whole piece. Mm -mm. I really like the strips I made. Mm. 
Everything is really good. Mm-hmm. I do wish now that we had made this into a pepper. <laughs> you can't hear me, huh? <laughs> I could hear you. I just didn't want to talk with a mouthful. I was going to say it's not too late. We still got that much left. And if you got the stuff, it, it wouldn't take that long. No. <laughs> and now I'm like, we're eating. <laughs> I think that the sticky rice really helps with all the food. Oh yeah, when you're eating hot stuff. Mm -hmm. And Cause... like the grease of like the pork belly and all that stuff. Like I think it really helped. If I don't eat enough other stuff with the pepper, then my stomach actually burns and... Oh really? Yeah. It's like I have to run around and I will shove rice in my mouth and like hurry up, get in my belly. Mm. So if I ha so I have to make sure whenever I eat pepper, I eat enough food with it. Otherwise, my stomach burns. Well, that's interesting. Well, it's kind of like the theory. Like mm -hmm. a lot of South Koreans, they believe if you eat a boiled egg, it helps to like help your stomach. Hmm. I don't believe in that. It's <laughs> <laughs> So it helps them, they think it helps do what though? Um, with that spice, kind of the same theory as your rice. Mmm. They say it's like the same kind of theory. Oh Lord, have mercy. <laughs> what should I grab next? Mm. The cucumber, the, the, those are really good. Okay. Go to bitch slap. I'm so glad we got rid of that dang sauce. <laughs> it's okay. I'll bring it home. I think my nya will like it. I think that the dang sauce is definitely an acquired taste. Like, you have to like that taste. Because, like, I know people who really like that taste. Mm-hmm. It also wouldn't be a sauce I would bring in the office. I think I could bring these to the office. I don't think mm -hmm. these sauces are that smelly. Mm -hmm. I'm always very cautious with what I bring to the office to eat. Really? Yeah. I don't care. The only reason why I care is I know that there are some people out there who are so sensitive that if they smell something super bad, they get headaches and they have to go home and then I feel bad. Really? Yeah. Oh. And I've tried to bring kimchi in the office before, and my white coworkers were like, what is that? And I was like, okay, I won't bring kimchi to the office anymore. <laughs> I only work with um, non-minorities. <laughs> they, don't, they don't say anything about my food. But to them, it's more like they don't want to say anything in case it's seen as um, a discrimination. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, same here, but I have a coworker, Patty. She's very polite, but like I said, the one time that I whipped out my kimchi, she was like, what is that? And like, I was like, okay, I won't bring this one back in the office. Like, I'll leave the office to eat it and I'll bring it back. I do have a mini pantry at work though. I have fish sauce and magi sauce, my garlic chili oil, salt, dry pepper, I have a oyster good. sauce, oh, oh, mountain God. seasoning sauce. Oh my God. No, I just have a uh, pepper. <laughs> like pepper flakes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, hot 
like on my hot sauce that I like to eat with like Taco Bell or something. But no, I would not do all of that. <laughs> I told you, Linda's crazier than me. <laughs> no, it's like sometimes I get, I order food or I, sometimes I make food too and I get to work and I'm eating and I'm like, it's kind of bland. So I'm like, okay, I got all this stuff here. I can fix it up. Mm -hmm. And it works. And I know, I need to buy something for it because it just looks kind of messy on my desk at work. So I'm trying to like... You don't have cabinets or drawers? I do, but they're full of work stuff. Oh, no, I have a drawer designated just <laughs> for it. <laughs> I have like a little drawer and I was like, I need to clean out one of these big drawers and make it one of my personal drawers. Because then I have a big <laughs> serving bowl at work too for if I ever want to order food. From Lotus or Quaint uh, to guys, downtown. So I have girlfriends, I Linda spoon. included, <laughs> apparently. So my friend's saying he always has a faux bowl at his place of work. He always has one. His <laughs> sister has a mini rice cooker at her, her place of work. She oh, like, electric lunch, lunch oh my bus. God. <laughs> Y'all are extra. I'll just go buy it. <laughs> But no, like, like literally, like she tagged me on Facebook with her rice cooker at work. It's like a tiny one, like aroma. Mm -hmm. Y'all crazy. <laughs> I do really like the cucumber. But if you order food from Quang's and they deliver, they don't provide you with a bowl. It they comes are. in a it comes in a styrofoam container. So I'm like. You got to have your own bowl. So I told my coworker Jessica, wow. you want to order food from Quang's, I'm going to get you a bowl. So I got these bowls from Hy-Vee that are serving bowls. Oh, okay. And so I'm like, so she's like excited. And I know we haven't done it yet because I've been dieting. But I was like, I'm going to order the ribeye pho and put it in my bowl. Hmm. But then if you order from Lotus, it comes in a little bowl about this size. It yeah. It doesn't look very I've much. I've gotten Lotus to go. I yeah. have to film on here, actually. Yeah, so then that, so then, so then you wouldn't need a bowl, but I was like, sometimes I like to order from Quang, so I like to mix it up. I, I like to tend stuff to from not places. order during lunchtime, folks. Why not? Some days I just need it. <laughs> to me, I feel like it tastes better mm -hmm. when you eat at the restaurant or you bring it home. Because then you have all your condiments, and it's not enough what they give you, you know? So I feel like I don't want to mess with it because it's not going to be as good. I guess I don't mind because I got my whole pantry at work. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I got everything I need there. And they do have Bep Eatery downtown, but their fuzz, uh... All right. I mean, I, I'll get it if I so you don't like need it. to. It's different. It's like their chicken is like grilled. You can taste it. It's like they grilled it and then they... Wait a minute. You get chicken pho? Like chicken or steak. Either one, either one that you get. It's like they grilled the meat and then they cut it up into cubes and they put it in your pho and it's like, okay. Oh. And then it's also not a lot. I feel like a bowl of pho I usually get is like twice the size of what they give me and I'm like, ah. Okay. I think Lotus is very expensive. It is, but if I'm desperate, I'll get it. My God. Come here. Come uh, here, cute. I know. I'm like, Jesus. Why are you making it so hard for me? The cucumber is mm. good because it's really refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we barely touched some parts of it. Okay, maybe more of this. Yeast. Mm -hmm. Still a lot of this left. You really don't like these tomatoes? Mm -mm. Not in papaya salad. Tastes is weird. <laughs> Tastes is too raw to me. <laughs> It's covered in papaya sauce. Mm -mm. No? I 
I love this dry dip pepper in like veggies and fruits. I do too. After we fixed it. <laughs> I feel bad for saying that. But we fixed it. <laughs> I totally agree. Mmm. I haven't had pork belly in a long time. You haven't? Mm hmm I don't generally eat uh, pork belly. I don't eat a lot of pork. Unless it's bacon. Um, I've been on, I think I've been on a pork base. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and since I've been doing this keto, it's like every week oh, I'm either cooking... Oh, you're doing keto? I'm cooking bacon or pork belly. <laughs> it Keto doesn't really work for me, but it's the diet my friend has chosen to do. And since we're doing meal swapping, it's just kind of easier to mm. stick to those rules. <laughs> oh, I'm full. <laughs> <laughs> we made a really good dent. Yeah, a lot of our cucumbers are gone. Yep, a lot of our meat is gone. See, like, this is, like, a perfect kind of platter for me because I'm such a snacker. I like to yeah, eat different. Yeah, variety. Diff yeah, I like variety. So this was really good. I ate a lot of meat, though. If you all rewind this and look at all the meat I ate, I ate a lot of meat. I'm not sure what I ate. I just, oop, almost dropped my chopstick. I ate a lot of rice. I ate a lot of meat. Yeah, I think this is my second bowl of rice. <laughs> I'm like, four? Yeah. I don't know, I probably had four or five of those rice bowls. <laughs> but y'all already know I love to eat rice. Mmm. This, you need to make it into a pepper. It's a little... If it was a little softer or maybe like, you know, like to go on the row with some sticky rice, I guess it's okay, but it has to be made into a pepper. All right. So overall, pan pan sauces, this one was not my favorite. I would not recommend this to my worst enemy. Maybe my worst enemy. I would make them eat. I would make them drink this, but Take I thought. I don't know, like, like, Bitch Slap was probably the best one in my opinion, just because mm -hmm. it was the only one that had a bit of a kick. And again, we eat really spicy, that's the only reason, I'm pretty sure for normal people, this might be, like, really good. Like, really spicy for them. Yeah. And I have here Seduce Me. I think this is the most similar to what we would normally make at home and serve to anyone who wants pepper at the table. And this dry pepper here, the bullet, I would not recommend it either. Um, based off of my own taste, it has this smoky paprika kind of a taste to it versus a spice. Uh, I didn't think it was spicy at all. As you guys saw, we had to add a bunch of stuff to it. So I think it was okay. Um, maybe if you like a little kick, this might be it for you. All right. Well, thank you, Linda, so much for coming onto my show and thank eating with me. Thank you for me. having me. <laughs> Until next time, you guys.